all right so we're going to do like an iceberg souls pvp well you know the well-known uh, part of the souls pvp will be on top and then as we go down it uh, will be the, the more unknown stuff so yeah let's get into it the first one is high damage so this one is referring to how unbalanced our ring pvp is uh the damage is like over the top second day they just never balance it even right now though even right now in 1.10 well i'm not sure how to fix it but there's two ways to reduce the damage from all the weapons or my suggestion is to buff uh, absorption in armor sets it will help a lot if they just buff the uh, absorption in armor set because all the stats that already in the game right now for the armor sets they they all just do the same uh, amount of absorption like from Dark Souls 3 because in Dark Souls 3 most damage are like uh, 600 or 400 AR it never goes way beyond that but in our ring there are some weapons that reach like 1k or 900 AR so I think absorption needs to be buffed hard swap is cheating uh, this one is referring to the you know, casual pvpr who calling people cheater for hard swapping but uh, as you know if you play pvp hard swap is a skill uh, related thing you know like you just you just don't fucking instantly know how to hard swap you need to learn how to hard swap it takes time to memorize uh, position of your weapons in the inventory and all that and of course uh, you need like uh, the best looking inventory setup to do that build wins battle and not this one is referring to how a build can just carry the entire battle instead of skill you know? i mean uh, yeah. i think g91 said about that like bill wins more battle or invasion and not skill because you can just you know have a solid setup anything you know, to be honest like the, the meta setup and just fucking destroy everybody EAC is easy to bypass yeah I probably already talked about this in a uh, video long time ago but let's just talk about it though so people can uh, the bypass EAC using Linux so I don't know how many methods did they do to bypass the EAC but the one thing that I know is they use Linux to bypass it and use certain version of Proton on steam eldering pvp was an afterthought hmm. that's also the question i had but it seems it was because some of the multiplier component looks rust and the uh, netcode feels like it was downgraded from i don't know like it was worse than the one in dark souls 3 it's probably just my opinion but or maybe just me being you know, fighting all laggards every time I try to play PvP and uh, just me though maybe. But still though, I I've seen some of the Covenant uh, level ups titles. I mean no titles, not like a pop up text thing though. Know. Uh, it was cut from the game. So yeah, I think it, it was an afterthought uh, after all. Power stancing spear was badly designed. Yeah, this one is referring to uh, one of the video from by Sergeant Jagger about power stancing spear being badly designed. To be honest, it's kind of long though. You could just check out his video about how it was uh, badly designed or something. You know? EAC has artificial latency. Yeah, this one uh, they just never fixed it ever. Uh, it affects both PvP and PvE. 
so let's just say that you and your homie uh, play, who play Dark Souls 3 or something or all the Dark Souls usually have like 52 ping or lower like let's say 30 ping right but in our ring uh, it will increase from 30 to our uh, like 70 or 90 uh, ping that's just how bad it was though rune farmers yeah, these motherfuckers they're still doing it even today i think so they just look at youtube uh, how to farm rune so they just found the one that where they just afk and just stay in one place that cannot be reached by uh, by invader or anybody without the access of um, horse i mean torrent or the glitch there used to be a glitch that you, where you can just fly off you know but it was pets i think so yeah these motherfuckers never learned how to properly farm runes because rune farming this way is not effective at all to be honest because if they did it like in uh, let's say metal level 1 to 5 uh, it's not going to get much out of doing all that to be honest just sitting around in on top of big rock tall rock, rock you know or just sitting around inside the tower where they great sword with unsafe aoe and yeah, this one is cheat i think because people are putting uh, assets of war uh, on a weapon that were impossible to put it on you know so yeah it's fucking cheating what else chainsaw glitch moral debate well, it's pretty much just only waifu and Stilovsky arguing about whether or not it's alright to use tensile glitch against a laggy person like player with bad connection. Invaders versus PVEers. Well, this is just some uh, Steam discussion arguments, to be honest. You can find them in a Steam. Uh, discussion also comparing pvp to grape yeah this one is referring to one of the steam posts in a steam discussion of the elder ring where uh, a casual player just comparing pvp or invasion to a real life grape yeah, it's, this guy is kind of fucking insane it's probably i don't know man it's fucking the head i think Immortal Glitch yeah, I think this one is referring to the uh, What is it called that thing the drinking thingy I don't even know how to call it because that they just make uh, the name um, You know fucking complicated call Let's just call it the mix blah 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 you know Okay So just they just drink one of those that has um why is it called the, the one where you will restore your health if you got hit by magic or something or any damage? Meta setups. Yeah, I mean, this just referring to your meta setups. So let's just say that I know a few of them, I guess. First is power stance, great spears. Power stance spears, power stance stretch sword. Uh, what else? What else? What? Uh, all right, we're entering Dark Souls Three. Let's go. Mad Spirit. Yeah, this one is referring to the one of the Covenant or. You know, in the game where you can actually do both PvP or PvE. So as a mad spirit, you can uh, guide the uh, the host towards a PvE area, or in the middle of the doing that, you can just betray them. Or if you want to farm some covenant items, you can just 
wait for uh, an invader or the invaders in let's say pontiff to die and then you got some items covenant item then you go home after that yes yeah, it's, it's pretty much uh the more you know it's a great covenant i guess indeed bowgun glitch so it's a glitch that uh if you want to know how to do it uh, there it is uh, i'm going to tell you anyway no? so you put a, a bow on your left hand and then the main hand is the repeater crossbow then you two hand the cr repeater crossbow you weapon art press the firing button but you do a back step or dodge then you swap to great bow any great bow i think but most people use the millwood great bow so they just swap to millwood and then use the millwood great arrow then do a back step or a roll then you just uh, yeah, you need to hold the weapon art button by the way when you're doing this shit so after you holding uh, you know holding and then do a back step then you shoot that's it that's how you do it crucifixion woods gang yeah, this is like the best place to have like uh, group fights 3v3 it usually harder than the pontiff one because pontiff one you can just fucking run around but this one you're, you're stuck in the swamp no matter what so yeah have fun there pkcs all right this is a meme weapon nothing used to be a meme weapon until it was meta it has a great long range. It has a fastest uh, R1. I mean attack. Yeah. And of course, it has a good weapon R2. As long you know how to do it, though, but it's still getting. Uh, you can still getting punished by it uh, because it was kind of long, you know. Max level PVPers. Yeah, this one is like your typical YouTube stuff, you know, like. You never really seen any <coughs> meta players getting you know, you know having a lot of views and all that so most of the views are going to the these fucking max level pvpers who cannot even play the game so what what the hell man they just fucking hell they just spam girls fast hits and then just R1 spam with low tech night straight sword, that's it. That's the entire videos they made and people liking it. Ring Knight straight sword recovery cancel. This one is classic. It was uh first it was it was found by Gabri, I think, yeah. Gabri trying to master this uh, glitch for two years. Until it was suddenly, well, everybody, everybody is using it uh, suddenly. Let's just get into how it works, alright? How to do it, something like that, you know? When you do R1, and then like there's like a white thingy thingy when you swing your sword, you press the weapon art button just once. Tap. Then you block with your shield, then do another r1 cancel again you can cancel any attack though if you want to cancel your heavy attack boom if you want to cancel your uh, raw attack boom if you want to cancel anything you can using the aircast skrc even do a blocking afterward to you know some people like to wave uh, but they do not like getting punished so just r1 cancel then just hot block monkey cheaters oh my god these guys they're like the i don't know the nuisance in pc version of dark souls 3 so they use cheats they also use a lot of cheats to different types to like uh, let's just say that when they fall off to the fucking cliff, they will just teleport to you and just yeah. 
fuck hell uh, it's up to you to block them or not to be honest but they're kind of fucking yeah kind of funny though actually fighter peel threatening people or threaten people <coughs> well this one is kind of sensitive also so in his discord he's threatening people to dox them or to grape them yeah you know, like grape there how do i say it grape their sister something like that or grape their mom something like that i'm not sure this guy is fucking toxic as hell bruh i'm glad he's for love bruh rce exploit yeah this one is about uh exploit that happens before the Elden Ring release date so what happened is one of the developer of Blue Sentinel he invaded a streamer he used the exploit on the streamer that's pretty much it well after that the server is done for 8 months so yeah Pontiff Gang yeah, this place is the best group fighting place to PvP so you just go to the boss pontiff and then just invade or host a gang yeah have fun fight club yeah this is referring to the, the pontiff fight club you can do in dark souls 3 so yeah please put your red sign there to pvp pivot cancel Oh yeah, this is also the classic. So you can cancel any consumable animations by just, you know, locking on. So how to do it, eh? So when you drinking an Estus, before your Estus reaches to your mouth or your character's mouth or something, you know, you need to lock on to the uh, other character, but don't move while doing that, okay? Then after you lock on, you just move. It will get cancelled. But uh, uh, this one needs a lot of practice to actually. So yeah, good luck. Dark Souls 3 open server. Yeah. Uh, this one is kind of referring to how uh, most of the people who, you know, play Elden Ring PvP, they just they quit in March of 2022 so they just go back to Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 3 server was down so because of the it was an era of some you know the most fun times I guess Leo B Leo B my boy yeah, we love Leo B, alright? He's the type that were kinda like soft. But then if you kinda rile him up, he will just ask you for 1v1s. He will call you a laggard, something like that, you know? Or you use lag sweets or something like that. But he's a funny guy, alright? He's the celebrity of Dark Souls 3. Forever. G9 wannabes. Yeah, this is like your typical G9 wannabes if you know what I mean. But <clears throat> for those who don't know, I can just fucking tell you here. So he wears like a lap helmet, lap chest piece, and then a Gandhir gauntlet and a black iron leggings. And his gimmick is like using claymore, a heavy claymore. Hard swap Gandir, hard swap uh, Lido, and of course the point down there, yeah. point down baby. <laughs> Chinese laggard, yeah, this one is just referring how laggy Chinese player is in Dark Souls 3. Oh my god, even though I'm like from Indonesia, they're still laggy as hell, okay? I don't like that. I don't like laggy fucking player, alright. 
wax dust. Yeah, this is a mod that is very useful for you to invert anywhere you want. So install it, alright? Blue Sentinel abusers. So this type of people, uh, they usually just hang out in Pontiff. So yeah, they just use it to kick people out if they're, you know, if they're glitching using like S to cancel or pivot cancel or LKS SK recovery cancel, something like that. And this type of people usually conference a lot, of, but well, it is what it is. Subtle cheaters. Yeah, this one is hard to explain, but I will explain like the basic one. So yeah. So what they do is to you know increase a bit of their animation speed. You know, like speed hack, but like subtle. You know, like. You can watch uh, one of the Amir's video about that. He go delve into it like so deep into that, you know, explaining everything, all that, you know. Murky hand side. Oh my god, this one is classic, bro. This is like your typical weapon for uh, fucking shooters and nobodies, you know. Passive region view, oh yeah, this one is kinda annoying though, in duo. So they just going to sit around just being passive, all that, you know. Waiting for you to attack first and get punished. Something like that. Usually you can just block them if they have this passive region view or... If you really want to make it like even, just do the same thing what he did, you know, like regen too you know stick around being passive just wait till the timer is out expo eh? this one is the greatest you know pc stuff thingy you know if you play keyboard mouse you can just fucking shoot anybody with a explosive bolt with the crossbow so you just shoot somebody you know if they are, let's just say they have like a parry tool and you're like, yeah, this guy is going to parry me or something like that, you know? Just shoot them, man. Fucking shoot them. Alright, we're entering Dark Souls 2. Just love for ADP, bro. Yeah, this one is referring to how you need the ADP to survive most of the things in the game, even the in PvP. You need at least like 25 to 30 ADP to so, to have like uh, better iframes, I guess. Yeah, that's the premise of uh, of the fucking stats. But most people were annoyed by a bit. Trusting sword meta. Yeah, this one is just uh, your typical rapier stuff. We just R1, 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 R1. Ogle build is fireball. Yeah, this one is referring how you can use any builds in Iron Keep Fight Club and just still being on top, you know. But recovery cancel. Yeah, this one is just referring how you can. Cancel your recovery frame after attacking by doing a backstep most of the time. Warm spell. And this is like the, the best invasion spell ever. So you just use it when uh, you have like lost a lot of health because in Dark Souls 2 you cannot drink Astus Flash as an invader so yeah. Worm spell is your last resort if you need heals. 
best fashion in Soul series. Yeah, many people already said that Dark Souls 2 has the best fashion in the game. I mean, in the series. You have like a lot of varieties of equipments or armor sets. So yeah, please, visit Dark Souls 2 sometimes, alright? Parry with two-handed weapons. Yeah, this is a feature that actually I actually like. It's very useful. Mirror Knight Invasion. Well, I never done this one myself though, because as you all know, Dark Souls 2 is not that you know it's not that populated anymore. So well, I got luck getting it, I guess. But still, you should try it. Bell Towers PvP. Yeah, you pretty much uh, looks like a you know one of those PvP areas. You should try maybe PvP or just doing Bell Towers Covenant sometimes. Maybe worth your time. Colosseum Arena. Oh yeah, you can enter PvP from the Blue Sentinel or the Way of Blue, or the the one uh, the Brotherhood of Blood. Life Gum Spam. It is just referring to how hosts who are panicking by invader they just chugging astos or just spamming life gums and runs away it is what it is iron keep fight club yeah this place has become like the spot for pvp because of the dragon covenant you can put a dragon sign or red sign there no lock con play style yeah, this one is referring how you can just not use lock on, you know, when you're playing the game or playing the PvP. You can just lock on when your weapon has a good tracking. That's just how you play it. Because of the movement too, I think, yeah. Black Flamestone Dagger. Boy, oh boy, this one is like a murky handset before murky handset is a thing, you know. This thing is OP as hell, it's fast, it's deadly. It will kill anything that moves, basically. Blue Acolyte mod. And yeah, this mod is great, it's like the anti cheat, and then, you know. Also, the where you can see the connection and also it has the wax dust red covenant yeah this one i never done myself too but i heard of some people like it like you have to just defending some red areas thingy quick attack yeah, this one is referring how you can just, uh, if you have a power stand set up, you can just press uh, triangle, hold triangle, then just press the L1 button. So the attack are quicker than the one you usually had, you know.
stand swap. Stand swap. Uh, I never really figured out how to stand swap, but my friends here show me how to do it. So it was like press triangle, then triangle and R R1 at the same time. Then do the combo thingy thingy. But, well, that's it. But well, I never really master it. So it's not that important as Siroi said to me. So yeah, this one is like you can just pass it. Uh, to be honest, reskin weapons. Well, reskin weapons referring to the uh, chess event from 2014 to 2015. So they have like a variant of the same weapon. Let's just say the longsword, the Murakumo thing, the katana too. Yeah, the katana, and then the oh yeah, big bong thingy thingy. Fume UGS tag. Yeah, I saw the video on this one though, by Oroboro. So you just need to hot block while using the Fume UGS tag. People will get knockback. Or do the tapping, then R1. Yeah, tapping block, then R1. Covenant Auras. Yeah, this one is referring how many wins you have in Colosseum. So let's just say if you got one, one fifty or something like that, you will get like this bright, uh, looking color of your your phantom thingy. Plus fifteen blade binocular. Yeah, this is the cheating related stuff uh, people will try to crash your game or corrupt your game they will drop a plus 15 blade binocular to do it so don't pick up anything that anybody drop you right ice rapier yeah this one is a branded uh, weapon just like the thrusting sword meta uh, pretty much the same thing just r1 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 punishable has this yeah you can punish people easily just you know when they drink as this let's just say that if your connection is good that is your connection is as you might as well just pop the, your hit actually hit you know Poison Bill is strong. Oh boy, Poison Bill is really strong. I will just show you the footage from Zero Iki channels. Uh, we're entering Dark Souls 1. Chain backstab. This one is referring how you get punished for running away from a PvP player. So the only counter to chain backstab is to just not press anything while you wake up. Then you try to I don't know, punish them while trying to backstab you. Or you roll behind them or roll to the side instead of you know trying to roll away backstep cancel yeah this one is referring to how when you try to backstep somebody and you got hit and then the backstep got cancelled but the character who got backstep will still in an animation of getting backstep this one can happen in Dark Souls 3 too. 
Now let's talk. That's that's how to avoid a backstab. Now let's talk about backstab cancels. A backstab cancel happens anytime you do damage to someone right as right at the start of a backstab, or if you backstab each other at the same time. Watch how his character model slides. That's because right now his character model on his screen is also getting backstabbed. Neither of us takes damage. PvP overhaul mod. Yeah, this one is a great mod to have like MWX does related stuff, you know. And also to create BO using cheat engine. Giant dead. Wow. This one is classic. It's a meme. You should watch the video on it. Or maybe you know already. Ouroboros Felchian build. This one is my favorite. Also, it was like a Felchian with a Dark Moon Blade. It's very strong. One shot Dark Beats. And this one is referring to how uh, Twing and Dark Souls 1 use, you know, like they just use. Dark bit and just one shotting a uh, noob boss to do, you know, just insta killing them. Level 55 meta. This one is referring how only like the late game is like level 55 instead of 1 to 5. Because after Anorlondo, people are going to afford the separate uh, places. So, invasion is not guaranteed on, on all those four places. So, people on, in the community already agree that they're going to stick around in level 55 to get invasion in Anorlondo and Sense Fortress. Death angle. Death angle is a trick to avoid getting parried. Basically, you just unlock and just swing your sword to far left or far right to avoid getting parried. Voice maxing. It's pretty much just people just optimizing their build to have like decent amount of voice to tank everything in PvP. Forest Hunter PvP. Well, in this place, you can host, you can uh, create a group fight, and also invading. It's kind of like the equivalent to crucifixion woods, basically. Grave Lord Servant. This one is a covenant uh, infect a, a world. Then, uh, when you infect uh, somebody's world, uh, the people who infected they can just visit your world and infect you in mass. You know? It was kind of chaotic actually. Blade of the Dark Moon. Alright, you can actually invade people as a blue, hunting down the guilty. Now, let's count up your sins. Kel Servant. Uh, yeah, you can uh, use this one to invade or just spend your humanities on it. Dark Rave of an. This one is almost the same like Chaos, you just collect humanities and invasion. Plus 5 Chaos weapon. This is like the meta of everything that is level 55. You just need like a Chaos weapon. 
and a plan, you know, like 10 humanities, and you are ready to go. That's it. Just need all that for level 55 PPP. Graph side build. Yeah, this one is the most common dex build in Dark Souls 3 Master, I think. Yeah. I don't know what's the great thing about it, but I think range and the backstab damage, perhaps. Whip build. Yeah, this one is typical like ninja flip and katanas. Have a flip. Yeah, this one is kinda scary, bro. Have a mom. This is like a opposite of giant dead, I guess. This is a meme, uh, meme build. Usually used by the level 55 on the meta. Bowder Swag Sword, my god. This one is my favorite weapon. Well, the great thing about uh, Bowder Swag Sword is that it has a R2 poke. You can R2 poke and just R2 poke again. It has a lot of roll catch the frame too. And of course, the R1 R1 was classic, you know. But the main thing is the poke, man. The poke. Well, we're entering Demon Souls. Infinite Stun Lock. This one is referring how you can just get stun lock by R1 spam of the straight sword or for any fast weapon to be honest. And you cannot dodge unless you learn how to cancel, you know, toggle cancel. Something like that, you know, a glitch or something. Duping glitch. I don't know how to explain it. It was something about like dropping items in Nexus and then you go to Thomas and put some or something like that. And this, yeah, I don't know how the glitch works to be honest, but certain video will explain it better than what I do to be honest. Stormblade trolling. Yeah, this one is like the funniest shit I ever seen in Demon Souls remake, I guess. Dragon's Bone Smasher. This one is also looks fun. You just knock people out with this thing, you know, like it's hilarious. Stacking grass item. Yeah, it's just referring how you just, you know, most of the Demon Souls player are stacking grass items for both uh, PVE and PvP. Hands of God build. I just thought it was cool because I watched only Afro's old video about it. He just bu bullying somebody. Demon Souls PvP is dead. I guess it is. Because nobody really PvP there. Low level invasion is the only active souls level for the RPCS3 version. Um Well fuck. You know a few days ago I tried to set up the RPCN thingy but since I'm using like the old version of the RPCS3, I cannot connect to the server. The Artstrons private server to play Demon Soul RPCS3 or PS3 version. And uh, I'm not sure about this one too, but maybe if you want to try flying multiplayer, go ahead. And good luck. Blue Blood Sword Build. This one is 
the most OP weapon or the most OP build in the game uh, last I heard because of the damage mostly damage I think yeah well that's all for the iceberg guys thanks for watching if this video blew up uh, I will make the PvE one right just doing the same thing like from Elden Ring Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1 to Demon Souls. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And see ya!